What's up guys, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a good one for you. I am recording from the Bay Club right here in Walnut Creek and today we are gonna be going over everything that you need to know before moving to Walnut Creek, California. And even though they're gonna make me move spots in order to record the rest of this video, I'm looking forward to sharing everything that you need to know about Walnut Creek. So let's jump in and check it out. What's up guys, I am Adam Dobrinich. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Second, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because every single week I'm bringing you a new video giving you everything that you need to know about moving to or living in the East Bay right here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Also, I am a licensed real estate agent and as much as I love making these videos for you, I would love even more to be able to help you with your real estate needs. So that number that keeps popping up below, I do answer all of my own phone calls, emails, text messages, please do not hesitate to to reach out if you have any questions or if I can be a resource for you in regards to any of your real estate needs. So with that being said, let's jump into everything that you need to know about Walnut Creek, California. Let's check it out. All right, so let's jump right into talking about the downtown area of Walnut Creek. Walnut Creek has absolutely become a destination for high-end shopping at the Broadway Plaza. You also have some boutique shops right off of Main Street in Walnut Creek, so you get a little bit of a mixture of both types of shopping atmospheres depending upon what you're looking for and downtown also has tons of restaurants and tons of great nightlife that's why i say it's really become a destination for people so whether you live here or you're coming in from another city walnut creek absolutely has a nice vibrant atmosphere lots going on great energy and it's really anchored by what the city has done with that downtown area it's really really cool because of this energy and because of this vibe Walnut Creek is also going to give you a good mixture of an urban vibe in that downtown area along with the suburban vibe because when you get outside of that downtown area, it definitely feels like the suburb. Now because Walnut Creek has become such a destination for people for a lot of reasons outside of just the downtown area, it's really caused the price of real estate to really go up. The Walnut Creek is considered to be expensive when it comes to real estate. The thing that I love about the Walnut Creek real estate market is they actually do give you something for everybody. You have a great mixture of condos, townhomes, single family homes, both small and large. When you get to the single family homes, depending upon whether they're new construction or existing units that were built back in the 50s, for example, the units that were built back in the 50s are on much larger lots and will really give you that traditional neighborhood feel. And then the new construction, you're gonna find bigger homes, but they're gonna be on much smaller lots. So again, depending upon what you're looking for, it'll have it. The condos and the townhomes generally are anchored right near the downtown area. So again, if you're looking more for that urban lifestyle where you can walk out your front door and walk right down to you know a restaurant or shopping or coffee or something like that that's what you will find with the the condos and the townhomes now with the condos and the townhomes the price point is also quite a bit lower it does vary everything from you know 600,000 all the way up to a million plus depending upon you know the age of that condo or townhome and its location but again the beautiful part about the Walnut Creek real estate market, like I said, is it's giving you something for everybody all the way from those condos to large single family homes on large lots and uh, every price point that you can think of in between there. But again, it is an expensive market, but you are gonna have a lot of options depending upon the lifestyle that you're looking for. Okay, the next thing I wanna touch on is the transportation and the traffic. So one of the big pros for Walnut Creek is its proximity within the East Bay and within the Bay Area. It's anchored right at the nexus of Highway 24 and 680. So it makes it a really good location to get to all the major employment hubs around the Bay Area. So whether you need to get to Oakland, you can be there in about 20, 25 minutes. If you need to get out to San Francisco, that'll be about anywhere from 45 minutes to you know an hour and a half, depending upon traffic. And of course, this is the driving 
that I'm talking about here, but it's also a straight shot down 680 to get to San Ramon in Dublin, where there are a lot of other businesses uh, headquartered and anchored in those areas. So Walnut Creek is a good spot to have that proximity to all of these major employment hubs. But with that, you are going to get a ton of traffic. That will be both street traffic throughout Walnut Creek, especially during those commute hours. It can be really bad. The downtown area can get jammed up pretty good as well. But then of course the freeways, both Highway 24 and 680, especially during those commute hours, can be really, really bad. But with that, Walnut Creek does have really good public transportation. They've got a bus system and they have an enormous BART station, which is very easy to get to regardless of where you're at in Walnut Creek. So that makes a really good option for you if you want to jump on BART to get to Oakland or to San Francisco or to some other part of the Bay Area. It's very easy access to the BART right there in Walnut Creek. There is no BART going down to San Ramon. You do have to jump in the car or take a bus. But again, Walnut Creek does offer really good public transportation. So just to wrap up the transportation piece, if you're not using BART and you need to get to the freeways, like I said, Walnut Creek sits right at the nexus of Highway 24 and 680. And again, depending upon where you're at in Walnut Creek, it's fairly easy to get to either one of those freeways in a short amount of time. So the access to freeways, the access to BART, makes Walnut Creek really desirable from a proximity and location perspective for your transportation. Okay, so the next thing that I really want to jump into in regards to Walnut Creek, one of the things that makes it such a fun city and the, the way that the city actually are all of the events and activities that the city puts on throughout the year from art and wine festivals down at Heather Park to the downtown festivals and events that they put on the ice rink that they do during the winter time and the holidays. Like Walnut Creek really has a lot going on throughout the year. They also have a great farmer's market every single Sunday. And so there's just a lot going on in Walnut Creek all the time. So it's very family friendly when it comes to that. And, and you will find a lot of families, a lot of kids that uh, you know participate in all of these cool activities and events that the city hosts throughout the year. But it is also great if you're single, there will be lots to do at these events that are not necessarily directly correlated or directly aimed at families and kids and that kind of thing. So Walnut Creek just does a really great job of bringing activities and events throughout the year for everybody. The next thing we wanna cover off on are the schools. Now Walnut Creek is known for having very good schools, but it is a little bit dependent on where you live, what neighborhood you're in and what school district you would be a part of. I highly suggest you go and check out greatschools.org. They are a fantastic resource that parents use all the time to get good ratings and understandings of what the school are, what the ratings are for those schools, what those schools have to offer, because that can really help you decide what type of neighborhood, what type of property, what type of area you want to be in if schools are really important to you. But in general, Walnut Creek is known for having very good schools, and so that is definitely a plus for Walnut Creek. And jumping into the last thing that I want to talk about, I'm going to combine the weather and the outdoor activities, because with the great weather that Walnut Creek has, you're going to be spending a lot of time outdoors, like I said, whether you're doing those activities and events but Walnut Creek is also a great location to be able to get outdoors, do some hiking, biking, walking, running, anything that you kind of like to do for outdoor activities, Walnut Creek absolutely has that. So first, Walnut Creek is in very close proximity to Mount Diablo. That's where you can get biking, you can get hiking, you can do camping up there. Mount Diablo is absolutely a fantastic park. There's also the Briones Regional Park, which is very close by. That offers some really great hiking, easy hiking that you can do and just get outdoors and, and that kind of thing, go for walks and, and whatnot. Walnut Creek also has the Iron Horse Trail that goes through it. Now the Iron Horse Trail is basically a 30 mile trail that takes you all the way from Pleasanton out to Concord and Martinez and even further out. But it's a great trail that a lot of people use for a morning walk, take the dog for a walk or go for a light jog. It's a paved trail and regardless of what city you're in, you would have access to it. And so Iron Horse Trail is definitely a plus for the area. And Walnut Creek also has some amazing parks like Heather Farms, uh, which is very family friendly, great place for a barbecue, lay out, read a book. You can also do fishing at Heather Farms. So the amount of outdoor activities that you have access to at Walnut Creek, basically, you know, within 10 or 15 minutes, wherever you're at, 
is is really really fantastic i also want to call out larky park and walnut creek for two reasons one it's an absolutely beautiful park for a picnic a party there's uh, great playgrounds there for kids but there's also a public swimming pool that you can use throughout the summer it just costs a few dollars to get in but is a great way to cool off during the hot summer days here in walnut creek so with these activities with these parks again walnut creek really does a great job of giving you everything that you need for you your family and your friends so talking about those outdoor activities is an easy segue into talking about the weather now as i mentioned in lots of other videos where we are at in contra costa county you're absolutely going to get the four seasons during the summer you're going to get 90 100 degree days you're going to get beautiful summer nights in the spring and fall you're going to get those amazing transitional seasons where the temperatures are a bit more moderate and of course in the winter you're going to get temperatures that will get into the 50s and 60s during the day and in the evenings we'll get down into the 30s and 40s so you do get a little bit of everything when it comes to the weather here but Walnut Creek does get a little bit windy depending upon the time of year so you will get some wind and that can also cool down some of those hot summer days and you'll get fog every now and then pretty rarely but you really do get those nice four seasons here in Walnut Creek and that's also why you will find so many people doing those outdoor activities all right so that wraps up my list of everything that you need to know about Walnut Creek California if you have any questions about any of this stuff please do not hesitate to reach out again my phone number is popping up below do not hesitate to reach out phone calls emails text messages I am available to you I would love to be a resource for you for any of your real estate needs so again please do not hesitate to reach out I hope you found this video helpful we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video and I hope you have a great rest of your week Thank <laughs> you.